Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In this Go High Level tutorial, I want to show you how you can use smart lists and manage your contacts inside of Go High Level. Now, when I first got started with this platform, I have to admit I had no idea what I was doing. The onboarding was okay, it wasn't great, and to be honest, there wasn't that much training out there that was valuable. So after playing with this platform for a few months and really understanding what it does, I've decided to create a massive amount of videos to show you how to use this platform. Now, if you haven't yet got started with Go High Level, I've got a 30 day exclusive free trial in the description. And I've also just created my white label version of Go High Level. It comes with a ton of marketing tutorials and funnels and templates and automations, as well as nice onboarding knowledge base and support. So if you want to get that, I'll also leave some information down below. But let's go ahead and get stuck into the training. So the first thing you need to know about Go High Level's contacts and smart lists is it's a little bit different to your traditional type of email marketing platform. Instead of having just dedicated lists where people sit in, instead we have contacts all in one bucket and then you can actually filter them out based on either tags or what they've done in terms of engagement or their birthday or whatever it might be and then you can filter them through there. And I believe this is a really good way of doing it because you can see their entire interactions as they go through and you don't have to add people to different lists to actually market to them if they do different types of engagement because they are all in one group and you can just segment them from there. Hopefully that makes sense. When we go through the next sort of steps, you'll understand. So I've added in a ton of emails here. They've all got different email aliases. I've also added some different tags in here just to distinguish them. And I've also changed some things like birthdays as well. Now to let you know, if you come inside here to add contacts, you can quickly add them here. If you're uploading from a different platform, use this import contacts button. It's extremely easy to do. And you can just go ahead and create a quick little uh, Excel shed spreadsheet or Google spreadsheet like I have here to upload them. And it only takes a few moments. Now let's just say I wanted to create a smart list. When you first come to something like manage smart lists, there's nothing there. So it's a little bit confusing how it works. But what you need to do is come to the right, click on more filters. And inside here, we've got tons of different filters of how you can actually manipulate your list. So for this particular example, I'm going to choose tag. Let's just say I want to only to uh, choose people that have gone to watch my demo and let's just say I want to put them into a group. So I'm going to go ahead at the bottom, click on apply. And now what it's done is it's created this little list of people down here and these people have all been tagged with watch demo. So when you're creating your different types of automations, it's always really good practice to add in a tag. That way it's easier to segment in the future. And now that we have got this tag here, to put all these people into what's called a smart list, all we need to do is come down to the bottom of this column. Once again, if you're not here, just click on more filters. Once your tag is there, at the bottom you see this little button, save as smart list. So go ahead, click on that. It's going to ask for a name. I'm going to say in this one, watched demo, okay? And go ahead and click on save. Now what it's going to do is actually create an entire list right here. So instead of having to come to my contacts and looking at all of my contacts from now on, I can actually just come to watched demo and it's filtered all of these people based on the tag. So if we come back to all again, I'll quickly do another one so you can see how easy it is. So once again, more filters will go based off tag once again, and let's choose a tag. And this tag this time is going to be pricing capture. So let's just say if you were collecting an email and people were asking for your different pricing plans, something like that. Once again, we've got a new set of people all tagged with that specific, specific tag. Come down the bottom, click on save as smart list. I'm going to say pricing capture. Okay. Go ahead, click on save. And now if you look at the top, we've got an additional list right here. So this is the great thing about Go High Level and their contacts and smart lists tab. You can quickly and easily switch between tabs to see what is happening inside of your list. Now the cool thing about this too, is it tells you how many people on the right are inside of your segment. So now every time if you add in your automation, let's just say if we went to watch demo, let's just say we had the watch demo tag. If I came in and checked it every day, I could see my records going up based on how many people have put in each day. So it's pretty powerful. Now let's have a look at some different types of tags. You can also add in some columns if you wish. Let's just say I wanted to add in birthday, right? Click on birthday and you see we now have a birthday tag appeared or a birthday column I should say. 
let's just say I want to filter people based on their birthday. So I could go ahead, click on more filters, come down to birth date, and we've got some options here. So I'm going to choose this month, click on apply. And as we're in July, we now have three people that have birthdays in July. So let's go ahead, create a smart list for that. And I'm going to call this July birthdays. Okay, so it's it's pretty powerful. You can go as in depth as you want or as minimal as you want. It all depends on your marketing strategies. But let's just say you wanted to give something like a birthday special or I, I don't know, something like that. Then inside the July birthdays, guess what? You've got all of these different people. And if you really wanted, you can click on this. You can come across to send email and you can send an email specifically to those people. So it's so easy to create different types of marketing campaigns inside of here. It's so easy to create smart lists as well as add in different contacts. So hopefully this has helped you understand how smart lists and contacts work inside of Go High Level. Once again, when I first got started, I had no idea what I was doing. In fact, I didn't really know for the first month exactly how this worked. I understood that you add contacts in here, but it was all quite overwhelming at the time. However, after using the platform for quite a while now, I understand exactly how it works. And I have to admit, after you use it for a little bit, the potential for it is incredible. You can do so many things with it. And it's really quick to switch between different lists, which I like as well. It doesn't have to go into new pages, into new you know, areas of email marketing like a lot of these platforms do. You can quickly and easily choose what you want to do. For example, add all these people to a campaign if you create a campaign or send an SMS to everyone, that sort of thing which makes it super nice and easy. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. I've got so many great Go High Level tutorials coming out in the near future. And if you aren't a part of Go High Level yet, I've also got that 30-day exclusive free trial in the description. And I've also got my white labeled SAS, which I'll leave some info for down below. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. But that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.